In this problem, we're asked to work with an application, so let's read carefully and try to identify the important information. Amy drives to Costco to buy supplies for an upcoming event. She is responsible for providing breakfast to a large group of Boy Scouts the next weekend. Hash browns are on her list of supplies to purchase, and she needs to buy enough to serve 100 people. The hash browns are sold in packs of eight boxes, and each box in the pack will serve four people. How many packs should she buy minimum, and how many people will she be able to serve with this purchase? I'm going to start by underlining our goal. We're working with a hash brown problem, buying some at the store, so we want to figure out how many packs should be bought and how many people will Amy be able to serve. In order to do that, we've given some information. We need enough to serve 100 people, hash browns are sold in packs of eight boxes, and in each box, four people will be served. So if we write out that information and place it in an organized fashion, as indicated here, we're given that 100 people must eat, hash browns come in packs of eight boxes, each box serves four people. We talked about our goals, figure out the minimum packs to buy, and how many servings that will be. For the math work then, let's use some of our important information. Hash browns come in packs of eight boxes. Each box serves four people. So each box then will serve 32 people. Each pack, I should say. So a pack is eight boxes. Each box serves four. So every pack serves 32 people. So what I'm going to write here is a little chart with number of packs and people. And let's build up this problem one by one and see what we have in terms of packs and people. So we have one pack would serve 32 people. Two packs then would serve 64 people. Three packs would serve 96 people. And we're getting close to our 100, but we're not quite there yet. We want to be sure we have enough. So let's go four packs serve 130. 28 people. So there's my information. I'm going to state my final result in a complete sentence and address the questions that were part of my goal. A minimum of four packs should be purchased which contains 128 servings. So we have the minimum number of packs and the number of servings. Now as far as a check, oftentimes with a check it's not obvious that the check is important unless you solve the problem incorrectly. So in this case, I would just say that 128 people served and four packs seems reasonable. So I'm going to write that here. 128 people served and four packs seems reasonable. So if you've done the problem correctly, the check is kind of an afterthought. If you've done something wrong, you'll get a negative number or you'll get something like, you know, by 18 packs. So just check your result. Make sure it makes sense. And if it does, just say so. So our final result then, minimum of four packs, 128 people will be served.